In this video, we'll walk through how to use the Cancel Membership, Change Term End, and Pause Membership options found in the Membership section of a customer's account. We'll start by navigating back to a member's account. Click on the Contacts tab in the left-hand menu, which will pull up your client list. Then, go ahead and search for the customer whose membership you'd like to manage. Once you've located the customer whose membership you'd like to manage, click on the membership section of their account. Upon clicking on memberships, you'll see the full list of memberships that this customer has purchased. Select the membership you'd like to manage. On the right-hand side of the screen, you'll notice the membership details. A lot of great information is found here, including three key admin tasks, cancel membership, change term end, and pause membership. Let's examine these three admin tasks in detail. Cancel membership provides three cancellation options. For example, you can use these options to cancel a membership for a member who is moving and will no longer be able to attend your activities. Let's examine the three cancellation options. Cancel today cancels the membership immediately. At the end of the current billing cycle, cancel the membership prior to the next billing date. At the end of the membership term, this option differs from at the end of the current billing cycle as the billing cycle and membership term do not always match up. For instance, a customer may have purchased a year-long membership and selected to be billed in monthly installments. In this case, the billing cycle is monthly, whereas the membership term is one year. Note, once you cancel a membership, you can no longer take any other actions. Next up, we have change term end. This allows you to shorten or extend the membership term. For example, if a member was out of town and did not get to effectively use their membership during this time, you can change their term end date to allow for an extension of benefits. This does not impact billing dates. Rather, it determines the expiration date for perks associated with the membership, such as class spots or access to members only classes. It's important to note that the billing date for the membership will remain the same. Keep this in mind when adjusting the term end for any auto renewing memberships. Lastly, we have Pause Membership. This allows you to delay billing and perk allocation for the membership. When pausing a membership, you're able to choose the new start date for the next billing cycle. For example, Pause Membership can be used to delay billing for a member who is out of town for the summer and would like to pause payments until they're back in town and able to use their membership. As a reminder, perks are the benefits your members will get with this membership in the form of free activity spots. The key functionality of this tool is to pause membership renewal, as those who pause their membership are still effectively active members. Though they will not be billed or receive perks allocations, they are still able to access members-only classes and members-only coupons, as well as use any already allocated perks. We've now covered the main membership management options found within a customer's account. Now, you'll be able to make the necessary changes to a customer's membership should the need arise, 